So I just finished this bike today. It is a friction drive motor bike made with a 26cc weed eater engine and a $10 bike I got at Goodwill. Um, it's not completely done. I'm planning on adding a few more things, but it was pretty simple to make. Uh, I tried not to use too much help from the internet, so it was it was kind of challenging at some times, but but overall, the concept is really easy. To get the correct space, you just need to get longer screws. That way, you can space it out properly from the tire. I added a peg to the end of the um, flywheel um, and I scratched it up with a rotary tool to get more friction on the back tire. I have this plastic ring right here. Um, that's just what I was using to test the motor before I put it on the bike. Uh, I'd wrap a string around it and pull, but now that it's mounted on the bike, you just need a pedal to get it to start. Uh, I had made the mistake of taking the pedals off a different bike because I didn't want it to be powered by that. I wanted it to be purely motor powered. But um, you need the pedals to get the motor to start and keep going on steep hills. Um, but after you pedal a little bit, it is purely motor powered. I would say I hit close to 30 miles an hour on this bike. Um, it runs on a mixture of 50 to 1 gasoline to 2 stroke oil and the throttle hookup. I used the line from the original throttle from the weed eater, hooked it up right here with this little clamp made from a screw, two nuts and washers to connect to the line from the bike brakes. So I removed the bike brakes. That's something I need to add our hand brakes to the front tire. But you can see it works. When you pull the brake. Um, overall, it's, it's pretty fun. I'll, I will make a video of me riding it and any other updates I make to the bike. Um, and that's about it. Oh yeah, and to keep tension on the back tire, I have this little screw hook deal that I hooked up to the angle iron and to the bottom of the bike. And you just screw to keep tension and you loosen it when, you don't, when you're not using it. And that's about it. It's pretty fun. And I would recommend building one because, you know, motorbikes are fun. Thanks for watching and bye.